Hi guys. Okay, Christina convinced me to make you a video of how to make my masks so that you can try it if you want to. Um, so what you need is a glue gun for the version that I make. Um, if you need a glue gun, I have one extra that I could loan to somebody if you want to do some mask making, um, especially if we think we want to do this for participants. Um, and you need glue sticks, obviously. I think I'm a little heavy handed with the glue, but it takes me about one glue stick per mask. Um, but I think you could do it uh, with less. <laughs> um, and then I'm using this copper wire. Um, you can actually use a paper clip or you could use a um, thinner wire. Um, but you just cut it, cut a piece that's a little bit, um, you know, about from the middle of your eye to the middle of your other eye. Um, and before I touch the rest of this stuff, I'm going to put on some hand sanitizer because the rest of it touches people's faces. <laughs> um, so you need some rubber bands. Um, it's better to have the ones that are longer and stretchier because they they loop over your ears and um, you don't necessarily want them to pull on your ears. So, <clears throat> um, and then wire cutter and then a little plier, to, meh, whatever this is, a thingy you can grab stuff with and twist it. Um, because the ends of your copper wire, you want to twist them back so that it doesn't have a pointy end, it has a rounded end. It took me a while to figure that out. Um, you're getting, this is like the 30th mask I've made, so you're getting a kind of perfected version. Um, and then you are gonna use blue, they're called shop towels, and um, they come in six packs, uh, they're these. And I clearly have plenty. If anybody wants to make some masks and you want shop towels, I have at least five rolls that I can share because I already had two. Um, so I'm gonna, oh, I also wanted to say that um, I did wash this one and it held up totally fine. It gets a little wrinkly, but once you put it back on, it flattens out no problem. You just wash it cold, delicate, and then lay it flat to dry. I laid it outside to dry and that worked great. It dried within 45 minutes. So I'm gonna tilt you down now so you can see what I'm doing down here with my glue gun and all my schmutz. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take that wire that you that goes from middle of the eye to the other middle of the eye, and at the kind of the top of the cloth, you're gonna glue that kind of on, and then just do some glue dots around it, and then a couple glue dots on the corners. And then you're going to fold it down over the wire and then one, two more folds. And then another glue dot there to hold stuff in place on each side so that you've got the wire nicely glued in inside the cloth, okay? At this point, you're going to turn it over, and this is where you're going to fold in your pleats. So, um, kind of down, like, maybe an inch and a half, you're going to start your pleat, and you're just going to fold it up so that there's a pleat in there. And then on, you're going to glue each side. So you're going to just put a dot of glue under that part of the fold. And then you're going to put a dot of glue under that part of the fold. And you're going to do that on both sides. 
Boom. Boom. And then you're going to do your next pleat, which is going to go just about the same distance below the first one. Okay? So then just boom, boom. And then I always have to end up re-straightening my pleat on this side. Just boom, boom. Okay. And then flatten out your pleats. Get them nice and folded in there. Because the next step is going to be to turn it over. And you're going to be folding these corners in so that you can get that shape that fits your face. So step one on the back here to shape it is find the corner of the wire in the top there and put your finger on it and about a, a finger's length away you're gonna do a line of glue from the top down the side just a little bit and then you're gonna take that and fold it down um, kind of in a straight line from the wire just like this and just hold it down okay and you can see that I've folded it down about to where the it just comes to where the row the first pleat started on the other side okay and then for the bottom part about an a little over an inch you're gonna put glue along the side here and then you fold that up and it's going to line up to the edge of the other one, right? So you, that's how you know where to put your bottom line, okay? So then you've got it folded like this and glued on that side. So now you're going to go to the other side and do the same thing. Find your edge of your wire. Put your finger there. Do your line of glue. And go down about an inch. And then you can use your other fold as a guide because you want to kind of have those, those corners go down to the same spot so your mask is even on the sides. So... That looks pretty okay. You can see the top of the next pleat peeking out a little bit, just like you could on this side. And then do your bottom again. Go about an inch up the side. Okay. And then again, just fold it up and line it up on the edge of that one. Fold it down. Definitely burn yourself a little bit with hot glue. That helps them come out better. I do it every single time. And then you're going to take your rubber band and have it right next to you. And then do on that edge. So uh, just to orient you, this is where the wire is that goes over your nose. And then you go out to the side. And you're going to put a line of glue right there on that very edge and then take your rubber band put it in there hold it in place and fold that glue line over it and press that glue until it holds another great opportunity to burn your fingertips and then you've got the ear loop on one side. So then half to the other side. Do your line of glue. Get your rubber band. Fold it over. Press it tight. Fold it. And then you did it. You made the whole mask. And it's kind of symmetrical.
but even if it's not, that's okay. <laughs> so um, again, the part, the wire goes over your nose. You want to make sure that you fold it tight around your nose because making sure you have a good seal is a huge part of the mask being effective. Fix it around your face. Um, I always tuck it under my chin because it's a better seal around, you know, I got the edge of my face tucked in. Um, and again, you can wash it a couple times. Um, I'm going to send an article that talks about these kinds of masks too. And so um, if you wash it delicate, cold, I put it in a little like mesh bag to wash it, but um, you probably don't have to do that. Um, and then just lay it flat to dry. And uh, sorry about all the shaking of the camera. I do not have professional video making equipment. Um, anyway, yeah. And then you just make 35 more and then you have a drink and you're good to go. All right, team. Um, okay. Bye.